Alrighty, boys and girls. Well, we have a bullish Bitcoin monthly chart and we have a bullish weekly chart on Pepe. And uh, we've got finally that Tor Hammer candle to the upside on Pepe. You see that weekly candle which we've been waiting for and comparing this here to this part here. And we had that breakout candle and now we're having it here. So this signals a big, big meme coin season overall. As you, as you all know, guys, right? Everything follows top meme coins, whatever they're doing especially when it comes to meme coins and what we're all about in here everything follows top meme coins whatever they're doing we follow them right we follow the path so Pepe is pumping and we've got whiff right whiff we've got ball we've got floki breton base we've got also breton is pumping waking up the giant is waking up we've got all other coins especially meme coins you know the meme coins if you're on the right spots right now are pumping so i hope you did not listen to the bears when we were at the lows here i hope you did not do that now you see this monthly chart and you remember guys told you we're gonna have a green jewel i know still got like eight days to go somewhere around that before we close it but it seems like we might gonna have a green monthly candle again on bitcoin so this really shows right if we get this close this really shows we're clearly now above previous all-time high which usually this starts the bull market and more signals are coming that we are gonna start a bull market soon this is very important guys right so this whole thing we've been doing for a long time for those whole years wherever how long you've been in the crypto space it all comes down to this moment now like if you mess this out that's it that's the most important time in the bull cycle or the crypto cycle in general so what we have we have elon musk yesterday changed his picture to laser eyes so for those that do not know laser eyes um, relate to bitcoin people back in the days they used to have laser eyes to signal they're bullish on bitcoin and crypto and stuff like that and and um, what we have now is rumors that he's going to be on that Bitcoin conference in Nashville next, next week. Or this was posted and yesterday, so it was on a Sunday. So this week, right? We're going to have that and Trump is going to be there as well. This is exactly how the last bull market started. It started with Elon Musk uh, accepting Bitcoin. We started seeing a lot of these big names jumping on board, right? And that's what ignited the bull market, especially Elon Musk, right? Elon Musk is kind of like the, the Wall Street favorite right whenever he starts a company or buys a company or whatever everybody buys it right because they know this guy is, is gonna pump it right they buy it they love it and especially now we have bitcoin etfs we have ETH etfs to start trading as well this week and rumors of solana and possibly right this is my own thesis we're gonna have dogecoin etf but now people are listening not any people those are your big phones and wall street boys the, the big banks the big boys up there have access to the crypto space so definitely now we have all all the signs that we're heading towards that massive bull market for those that did not experience that that's the moment as i said that's the time this this is it right you see this massive massive pump only we had like the breakout monthly candle so we had one two three four five six seven months right seven months of up only on bitcoin but the last three months this is where you start to see your altcoins pumping right this is it right this is the only time where money is easy where we get into that easy mode all you gotta do is buy and hold right that's the time where you see people making money easy that's why people love crypto that's why people join crypto because it's the promised land these people come here for the exact time for this time here right they come for that because that time everybody makes money right it's not anymore the pvp player versus player like you on solana trying to be early and dump on the next guy that's changes because we have new flow of people new flow of liquidity coming people that are just coming joining they don't have the experience even if you've been here just for a few months you already have more experience than the people that are gonna come more flow into the more big 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 money joining liquidity coming it's less pvp let's say player versus player for those that do not know so it becomes more of a everybody's winning kind of deal right Un until the top and then it crumbles and those that say that got caught in it don't make it so that's to tell you guys we're still early i hope the bear the bears did not get you selling the lows and most importantly millions are gonna be made and the second thing is we not want to be on the right narratives that's that's the thing i've always i always say we want to be on the right narratives the right coins and that's about it right most of the coins the coins are gonna pump if you now today you're probably seeing this now right you look at your portfolio right now you've got your coins pumping right everything is pumping if you're doing things right so that's the thing like um we're gonna have everything 
everything pumping. The most important is first, are you going to do the 100x or the, are you going to be able to hold the whole, the whole way up? And the second thing, are you on the right coin? So you all know me, guys, I'm big on the PayPayverse, on the coins related to PayPay and stuff like that, just because of previous cycle, we've seen Dogecoin as the massive meme coin ever, or like uh, it was a shocker, right? Nobody expected that. And Elon Musk tweeted about it and started this whole thing. And it started the dog teamed coins, right? And that was the beginning. And since then, Shiba Inu came off that. Like it was the, the derivative play. Like, like today, the PayPayverse is to PayPay, right? Like the coins that are related, like Brett Eats, Andy Eats, and stuff like that, that are related to PayPay, right? And now my thesis is simple, simple, easy, understandable by everybody, right? PayPay is going to flip Shiba Inu. Shiba, that's going to start this PayPay characters kind of no more dog. We've seen recently Popcat, right? Like a Solana meme coin that is a cat that could start also be, be that guy, right? To start the season or like cat season and stuff like that. But this is still not something we can bet on right now, right? We want to wait for that. But Pepe has proven itself for a while right now. It's been around since 2023 launched, have done very, very well, survived so many dips as you can see here. Spaghetti hands couldn't hold it down. And we know that it's going to flip Shiba Inu and it's going to start that Pepe verse season. So that's why I'm big on those. Now, the second thing is something I want to show you guys here. And I've been talking about it on my Discord link in the description. You can join. It's free to join. And I've been telling people about this because I see a lot of people now in disbelief still, right? Like they can't believe that we are in a bull market or that we are heading into one. And a lot of people are spaghetti handing their coins for two, three K PLs, and they think they that's it. That's why they are here for the in, in the crypto space. And they're leaving in the table hundreds of thousands of dollars waiting for that bull market. And I'm, I'll give you some examples. This this must be really something important to see, right? As it really shows mistakes I've made in the past, and I'm not trying to make this cycle. And a lot of people forget about those things. So I remember back in the days, let's start with Luna. So Luna, right? You all remember if you've been here around, you remember Luna. So this coin got listed on Binance. So this is the Binance chart, right? It was on Binance, right? And very few coins were back then on Binance. And I was, I was trading on Binance and stuff like that. So this was January, February, kind of end of 2020, start of 2021. So it, mind you, this is the start of the bull market, right? Now, nobody expected this first pump on Luna, but then everybody got in here, right? Everybody started trading this range. This is when we got that sell in May and go away. And then we all started trading Luna around here, around four and five dollars in its price. And I remember this very well is that I've been trading this range here. I was just enjoying this range. I was buying low, selling high, thinking I'm doing well. This is it. I'm fine. I'm going to make a lot of money off this. But little did I know. And then it went and did an almost a 20x from these lows here or like right here at the dips from four dollars to that top. It did a 27x without me, right? Because I was just trying to be the smart guy trying to trade the range and not believing in anything and just like trying to trade ranges. This was one of the most painful plays because I've been playing with a decent amount of money here. And if I just held, I would have outperformed all the day trading and all the flip flop fugazi I was doing in here. And if I just held, I would have made way more money than anything else or than any of these flip flopping and trying to outsmart the market and stuff like that. And that's what most people are going to make this cycle. And I see a lot of people doing this already right now. And they are going to miss this whole thing up here because of simply thinking they are smart. Now they are going to be out, out trading the market. I'm going to jump from coin to coin. I'm going to do this and that. I'm going to try to do this and that and accumulate. And then I will have enough time to come back here and then catch the pump. And I can tell you this will never end well. And I see a lot of people doing that. That's part of the thing why also I'm not a big fan of coins launching on Solana because it really promotes and motivate people or encourage people to do this kind of thing, right? Like flip flop, jump from coin to coin, from to coin to coin until the bull market is over. And then these people will never make it, right? If you're here for millions, like in the title, millions are going to be made. But first, you need to know this. The, to make the 100x, the 50x and stuff like that, you actually got to have to hold, right? You actually got to have to do this. The holding part, which is now we're entering into that phase, right? The bull market, it, where the easy money is like you buy and that's it and you wait for it i remember days also right with axie infinity it got introduced into binance a futures right and it started trading futures on that axie infinity because it was pretty volatile it was pretty cool it was just going up right like literally close your eyes and open up long on axie infinity back in the days back here right it's the same thing and it was just going up right you couldn't lose and look at these prices like literally here it just launched on futures
features November 20 and I tried it it was ranging here also as well it was a range and most of the time these ranges will just break to the upside and it, this was like the banking time right like you make bank on this like little push up and you think you're smart you make the money or like whatever PL you make and then you try to wait for the dip the, the dip that never comes and look at that so it went from below a dollar or it's like half a dollar and it did this right and it did a 350 act without me that's the pain that's that's the pain that you will never forget and that's the pain that stayed in my mind and I had a lot of examples like this where I just looked at coins that pumped without me and I was early on on them right and you see this on Twitter a lot of times like people missing on whiff especially right because whiff took took its time it got rugged and then CTO'd and stuff like that and people sold early and one guy sold for $500 PNL and he would have had now almost 50 million dollars right and the same thing here this guy will never forget about it I see him tweeting about it every day thinking that he missed on 50 million dollars instead he took a 500 dollar profit on that so that's the main important point guys is that's the most pain in this cycle in a bull market it's missing out on these massive pumps the pain is not losing money right losing money happens is a day-to-day -day thing right if you're in the crypto space that's the expectation making a life-changing money that's the thing that few people achieve or that's the dream right and that's the thing that everybody's here for and if you see yourself missing out on these things like literally in the bull market people start to see if you're not missing out on life-changing money daily you're doing something wrong because everybody every day on the bull market fumbles a seven-figure bag or like six-figure bag or like eight-figure bag every day right because everything starts to pump all these coins here even the low market cap coin ones they all start to pump and people look back and they say i missed six figures on this i missed seven figures on this i missed this on this I miss, and that's what people actually think about more they don't think about like they lost 20 percent or like 50 percent or something they think they lost 5 million that's the thing that keeps you up at night and that that's the thing that we're all playing for right now we're playing for that upside to come for that bull mark and this chart here on bitcoin is just showing us what's happening now right you see it clear believe your eyes right that's what i've been saying and that's what creates fomo what creates pumps and what gets coins pumping 100 x's 200 x's and stuff like that because i get a lot of people like i call i, I share with you low market cap coins like bread eat dark lords and stuff like that and even toshi back in the days eight million dollars which i still hold i still hold all these coins that i bought early because i don't want to repeat the same mistake because i've seen i've been through this right like most people their first cycle what they do is here here you come late right you come late and you lose money because you buy the top and then the next one when you start to see this first disbelief rally you start to sell early because now you think oh my god these things don't last i should not repeat the same mistake and then you get this right and then on this cycle what you actually learn is that you should hold when you are early right because you start selling all the early you start early selling all your early entries for a 2x or less and then you see them doing 300 x's and that's most of that's that's the biggest pain and that actually takes you two cycles to learn the same thing I'm telling you right now, right? Because a lot of people now are from 2021, right? And what they do now, that's the G pandemic started just like that, right? This is the spaghetti hands pandemic that we're still leaving, right? Because people learned this. They had trauma, PTSD from the previous cycle. Whenever something pumps, sell it right away because it's these things are not sure. It's going to dump. And I am pretty sure that's the lesson they will learn in 2024, 2025 is that learn to get in early and hold. That's what they will learn now and most of the ogs in the space they all say that you need three cycles to make it in the crypto space the first cycle you lose money the second cycle you make money but you miss on life-changing gains and then the third cycle you learn all your lesson everything that you need to learn right and most importantly the last lesson is this one right is missing out on actual real gains i still hold pepe from very low prices right 100 million 200 million and i'm still holding it because i know right i know the pain to missing out to the upside is much more on than losing even now for me to lose on pepe is kind of like out of the picture but because i know this right i know this happens right a lot of people would have sold after 100x or 200x and then it went and did another 300x overall from the binance listing right so just so you know this this thing started way before right and that's the lesson that people learn late right and people from 2021 will learn it now and they will apply it in maybe we're gonna have like the second bull market somewhere in 2028 right 2028 and 2029 and they will be 
telling people just hold guys just hold we're gonna have it it's happening it's coming right now obviously we can just crash and go to zero and ponzi goes to shit right it can happen every day right like that's that's the thing that's the risk we're taking but what's then right you're gonna go back to your jobs and that's it right life keeps going right L normal life but missing or life-changing gains that's the that's the thing that doesn't happen every day right that's the thing that we're all playing or trying to bank on this whole time right that's the the game we're playing or at least that's what i am playing right so with that said guys the narratives right we want to be on the right narratives now obviously they're gonna be coins that are gonna pump just a little bit not not so much right best you can do is 2x right and we've been through this over and over they're gonna be coins that are gonna do 2x right 50 percent maybe 4x at best right and they're gonna be coins that are gonna do 100x 300x 500x 1000x 10,000x right like they're gonna be coins doing crazy like shiba inu is actually one of the highest trades recorded in the in history right is shiba you know from the previous cycle it did like 21 million percent something like that pump and people made a lot of money on it right and that's why it's kind of like very viral and people love it and stuff like that which pepe is kind of like now there right and we're gonna get more coins like that and uh, narratives right utility coins as usual right like if you are on any utility coin they're not gonna be doing that great right or at least low percentages of gain this cycle we have meme coins every cycle we have a new narrative every cycle right like we here we had eat killer right for those that do not know we have eat killers because eat started to pump and it was a 2017 kind of guy and then people tried to replace it as usual they say this is it or like in 2017 you had the bitcoin killers right trying to replace bitcoin and here you have eat killers right like you got all your blockchains that you see today right you got your solanas you got your avalanche you got your atoms you got all your cardanos and stuff like that all of them they all pumped here right this was the narrative if you bought any narrative from 2017 you wouldn't make it including xrp right xrp was from 2017 and people bought into it and it barely pumped like it barely came back to its previous all-time high or like 2017 all-time high right so here we had nfts and gaming we started to see meme coins but very late right it's a lot of people would say meme coins are from previous cycle but i would argue that because we had dogecoin only and then we had this cool off period here and then we started to see pump and the whole meme coin narrative really got washed out right and we had the gaming and nfts and then by the end of it we started seeing meme coins again but it was too late right we had the crash and now we have meme coins we know that meme coins are the kind of the new thing people fighting vcs people want to be early on something it gets you feel included right you get in early you buy at 1 million 2 million 5 million you feel like you are early on finally right especially if you've been around or like you've been since at least since 2021 you know it like finally you are early into something like in 2021 people would buy a coin that is a 500 million dollar or one billion dollar market cap and it still goes in the and does a 10x or 20x and they still feel like they outsmarted the market and now but now finally we can go it we can get into something at 1 million 5 million 10 million 20 million even below 100 million or around there it's still kind of like it makes you feel that gives you the exclusivity of like you feeling being early right finally i can be early on something that could do 100x or like a 50x or like 10,000x, right and that's why meme coins are successful right now and that's the narrative of this cycle and within the meme coin space we have paper verse coins right like paper related that could flip shiba inu and stuff like that now if you're holding shiba inu i don't know what you're still doing but the dogs narrative is gonna possibly stay right just because dogecoin right we're gonna still have the we're gonna still have that floki is following the dog narrative bonk right dog we've had we still got, got those right they're still gonna come we have new narratives as well like more coin right like these cultish coins like co coins that actually get people to be involved in some sort of a cult like and then we have popcats like this the cats like mew and popcat and stuff like that then you got turbo which kind of like each coin is gonna have like turbo is a separate coin or by itself it's kind of like a community coin the community is strong enough and then it pushed it pushed it right that's that's one thing here you got pepe coin which is related to pepe which is also a pepe verse coin right like apu like hopi bread on eat dark lord andes and stuff like that like you got this andy here you got this chinese pepes recently right and you also got me me ladies or ladies this is also a kind of a cultish meme coin right it could see its time just like mog right and also it's kind of building a bit of a of a narrative for itself or like a community right just like mog coin and stuff like that and you get your toshis your snacks your ardo stuff like top meme coins on their own chain you get andy on blast you get co coins that are top of their blockchain but the most important is narratives right we're gonna have the strongest ones always gonna be on it you know where i stand with it it is king because of people on it 
buy things for investment on solana people gamble people go to dot pop dot fund they want to gamble they want to make a quick buck and by the way all these people they're never going to make it right you're never going to make it. and by the simple fact that you're going to miss the actual bull market right like you're you're trying to be smart now but you're going to miss the the actual bull market when things do 100x and 200x while you are doing your 500 dollars pnl right that's that's the actual thing right but to come back to this right eat king eat is king eat meme coins are first then we look at the other one solana for me is i'm not touching it by by now i i have my myro and that's it right i i have also bong from from back in the days but those are i picked up on exchanges way before we seen the pump of fun craze and stuff like that but now solana is a bit tough right solana is a tough game and those are the strongest right like you got your papyverse on it and coins the cold coins on it and you got your top coins on their chain and you got the elon related grok right grok and you got byte which are both related to elon musk right this might be a strong narrative at some point right just looking at this now but we're, we're gonna have to wait for what elon is, is about to do but just to tell you guys everything is gonna pump right we're gonna reach a point where like today you see this coin is pumping everything is getting a pump like dogecoin shiba inu pepe dog everything is pumping right everything what is that like mu is up 130 percent now 700 million dollars in its market cap right whatever coin right just imagine if you were in this right and it dumped and went to the lows and then you sold the low because you bought the top and you sold the low and you sold it at a loss and then you went and bought this next hot thing right you bought something else at the top and then this thing went down and then you see later on cat and dogs were pumped right and it, it, this will happen all the time in this cycle patience is key that's why i always say that patience is key if your coin is not pumping it's gonna come right the, this time is gonna come and it's gonna start pumping as well just that in my opinion it is much better that you understand the narratives you understand the landscape you know what's you know understand the game right the game right that's why i give history that's why i when i tell you guys about wh what shiba inu or how it started because it's related to dogecoin because dogecoin was the first meme coin and it's a dog and it started the dog teamed kind of coins right so i'm not telling you that just to tell you about the history but i'm telling you that just so you know that the narratives they are linked things are not random right things happen for a reason and now we have pepe so pepe are, has its own kind of teamed coins like boys club and stuff like that that are related to it so it's simple right now the other ones are much harder to predict but then regardless they're still gonna pump right right just stick to your guns that's the most important i have my strong beliefs on my thesis which is the papyverse and whatever you have you stick with it if you don't understand i'm just sharing with you my own which is the one that makes the most sense right which is the pepe flipping shiba inu and the papyverse narrative that's the one that makes the most sense that's me other coins will not pump other coins all they're gonna pump we got the second one as i said the top meme coins on their their blockchain like coke you know pumping as well right everything is gonna pump when i see pepe down 70 percent or 60 percent it hurts right because i'm holding this from a long time and, and now the the fluctuations they do impact my portfolio but i still know that we're headed i look at this in the morning i wake up i drink a coffee and i look at the charts on bitcoin and i know we're still heading into a bull market and i believe this thesis will play out and that keeps me calm because i believe right they believe in something believe in something and wait for that belief to, to kind of come to life right and that's it a lot of people aren't gonna make it millions are gonna be made but only if you understand these things right you understand what you're doing if you're entering something you know why what you know what's the narrative and you know whatever comes next or like whatever you got some shiny object next it does not take you away right like recently we've seen mr miggles and pumping and everybody started talking about it and i'm sure a lot of people bought the top on that and now it's retracing right and people will sell their winners and i see this a lot too right people sell their winner like they have some winner that is pumping right and they will sell it and they will go buy the top on like mr miggles now right and mr miggles will pull back and then they freak out right and they will sell more of the winner and they will buy more of mr miggle and mr miggle will keep going down and then they will be all out of their winner and then later on you check their wallets and i see this all the time like i see this on chain i see people doing that right like i'm just like shocked because i see people still do the same mistake and then in their wallet you see bunch of rugged coins like they have thousands and hundreds of rugged coins that they never sold but finally one is pumping one out of them is actually a winner they start selling it to buy a loser right to buy the next loser and then they, they add it to their list another coin failed coin but the only coin that was pumping i sold it sir dude you're selling your only winner to buy a loser literally and then you check his wallet he's got all the kind of rocks still holding them and then the only winner that is pumping oh no let me sell this now and go buy some some other thing right some other thing at the top 
and then wait for it to dump and then buy more of that and then add it to your list of not making it right so it's very important to believe into something and stick with it and wait for that moment where when the pump when the boom market is gonna end we're gonna know about that we're gonna see it or you're gonna find out about it yourself right or i'm gonna tell you make sure to subscribe right you've seen now this far i've, I've done my best right to keep you guys updated right to keep you guys strong-handed and all that stuff keep you guys from being faked out and all that stuff so when that time comes to sell i'm pretty sure and damn sure i'm gonna tell you i'm selling and see you next bull market right but for now we're still going higher and that's you see it right you see this this whole thing green breaking previous all-time high and holding above same thing here right breaking all-time high boom send it we're gonna have it here now now the only problem we got here right is why we we, we lasted this long it's because of uncertainty this year is an election year right we got more uncertainty we got the feds rate cuts and stuff like that that's why we kind of lasted a bit long here but usually we should pump higher but also that tells me right as soon as the the water clears out we've got elections done over with right and we got the rate cuts and now the market is not anymore in that uncertainty phase and the disbelief phase which by the way you should be buying right emotional markets right like the markets are very emotional disbelief people are not believing and up buy more right so we're gonna have more certainty in the market market is gonna start pumping we're gonna have believe then fomo then euphoria and then peak right peak and then we sell for now we're holding we're waiting for the 100x that's the most important right that's how you actually make it a lot of people buy a coin today because the title says millions but then they think the next day they should wake up right right that's what they think but it doesn't work like that sir it doesn't work like that anyways so as i said guys millions are here to be made you can make them right but the only thing you have or the two things you need is a strong narrative it has to be on it and you want to hold it or believe in it and wait for for this to happen let let it play out let it cook let these candles cook we're gonna have this now right seven months or six months of green green pastures green grass green pumps tall hammer candles everywhere so anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video till the end i hope this was helpful and we'll see you on the next one cheers